Look at this guy, man. He's stuck up there. He must have, like, come down from there and walked onto this arch. Doesn't, doesn't even have his wool. Now he's like the sheep gargoyle looking out over towards the farm, making sure it's safe. Yeah, we'll see how long he stays up there. Probably forever, unless I kill him or something. But yeah, anyway, hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa. Welcome to another episode of Jamcraft SMP. We are alone on the server today, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, in between this episode and last episode, I built this little tunnel here under the hill. I wanted to uh, get over to this area because this is where my chests were. And I didn't want to like go over the hill or build a ramp just because it's kind of difficult to do that and make it look good or make it be like practical but so I built this tunnel here have these lights just to create kind of the lamp or the overhead the light effect kind of the tunnel like the uh, tunnels that you drive through but um, some mossy just because I like mossy but yeah that's that that's the tunnel and I have my chests over there but I moved them because today we are going to make this area into a storage room because I need an organized one because like three chests worth of just dumping stuff is not really working. These things are a mess and they are all almost full. So we need to fix that. But first, let's go to sleep. Let's get started on our storage room. So I have built a lot of storage rooms throughout the whole time I've played Minecraft. Um, on the Craft Nectar server, I built like three storage rooms, probably because I never got them right in the first place. Like, my first storage room, I probably had like 12 or 16 chests, but they were kind of in a derpy place, and they kind of overflowed and that kind of thing. So that didn't really work too well, and I thought I had more chests than this. I'm guessing I'd have to make some more. But anyway... The, the, the thing about storage rooms that you really need to nail for them to be effective is they need to be in a convenient location, and this is not going to be enough. They need to be in a convenient location, and they need to have the right amount of chests, because you can have too many chests. Like, I built a storage room that had, like, a chest for every item. Well... Not for every single item, but basically for every item. And it was like, I'm trying to think the number of chests I had, but it was a lot of chests. But, um, yeah, for this one, I, you know, I was thinking, like, I wanted to have 18 chests because it seems like a good number. It's the number of chests that Etho uses in his LP, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to assign them kind of different roles than what he's using, but I think that's a good number. So, but what I had, what I did is I had in my inventory, like over 18 chest items. So I was like, oh yeah, this will be enough. But obviously for 18 chests, you need 36 chests because 18 double chests. So yeah, uh, probably like three or four trees should do it though. I don't like these big trees, but yeah. Storage rooms, you need to have the right amount of chests and they need to be in a convenient location. Like, I built a really good looking storage room, had like nether brick wool, and it was like presented really nicely on the Craft Nectar server, but it was in a really kind of out of the way location in an area that I didn't really go to too often, so I never used it. <laughs> and I, well, I did use it, I used it for like overflow storage, but. And the other thing about storage rooms is they don't need to be like an end-all, like this is the only place where I put my items. Like, for example, my carrots, I have a chest over there. And if I want carrots, I go over there and let's harvest these pumpkins really quick. Um, you can have like other chests spread around. Your storage room is more like your storage core and you can have other storage spread around your base because having all your items in one spot is obviously not completely practical, but yeah. Anyway, you saw the other pumpkin farm I built there. Um, that is temporary. I have an idea for 
a pumpkin farm that I'm going to build probably in the near future, maybe in the next episode. Um, I have an idea for a fully automatic pumpkin farm, but I still need to work out a couple more things with that. Um, and I might not, still might not have enough chests. Let's see. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. I have just enough. I really love the new shift clicking thing too. That is so convenient. Okay. So this is where our chests are going to be. And to, for most of this lighting, I want to use jack-o'-lanterns. And I do have a fair bit of glowstone, as you might have noticed if you saw my chests. But I kind of like jack-o'-lanterns. People, some people don't like them, but I'm kind of fond of them. But um, to make these chests look good... I want to use these jack-o'-lanterns as like lighting behind them like this and dang it I really can't reach that like this and well okay one correction about jack-o'-lanterns people don't like them usually because of the face like this <laughs> and granted that is very very derpy but let's see if I can uh, place it good yeah, if you place it so the face isn't looking like pumpkin, it's basically just a pumpkin that gives off a light source. And pumpkins are pretty good blocks, I think, in my opinion. Everyone has different opinions about what blocks look good. I also think nether brick looks good, and some people do not. Some people really hate it, but I like it a lot. Some people think sandstone looks really bad, too. But, I mean, granted, sandstone kind of does look bad sometimes, but this sandstone, I think looks good it's kind of hard to argue about this this is pretty a pretty plain block my sound seems kind of loud let's turn that down i think i i had it or turned up from a server-wide event that we did we did a we actually did a ultra hardcore our server which was very cool i've been a long time viewer of the mind crack ultra hardcore so it was very cool to uh, actually play ultra hardcore myself so that'll be uploaded in a little bit, but yeah. Okay. So that's the kind of look I want for the chest. Sandstone on the side, um, pumpkins behind, and also just because this grass would look kind of monotonous, I'm going to put these pumpkins here. I think pumpkins set in grass also is a good look. Like orange and green is kind of a cool contrast it is a little flashy but it's kind of cool so yeah we got that going on and we need to yeah we need to work fill this in some yeah when i was um i was talking to sanjay he was on the server and i was standing like right here where my chests were and i when i was typing with him i had typed maybe like 10 words or so and i see a creeper coming up and i was like oh because I didn't finish typing, so I didn't want to press enter, but yeah, my chest got creepered. But it was okay. I got all the stuff back. So yeah, let's see what else we got here. Alright, we want to extend our grass this way. Um, yeah, I don't want to kill all my grass blocks, so... There we go. Is my sound gone again? No, it's still there. It sounded like it was gone. Yeah, oh, and right below here. Oh, wait, it's not. You can't see on this side. There's like a cave right below here also. So I actually kind of want to try to expand into this cave some. I never actually built a base in a cave, but I think building some stuff in here would be pretty cool. I'll have to figure out how to, like, shape it. So that's kind of narrow, but that would be kind of fun, I think. And this definitely needs to be moved. Ender chests are kind of the one thing that if you want to put them in your storage room, it always messes it up because if you're doing double chests, then like the ender chests, the ender chest messes it up because you're, it's like a one, it's not a double chest and yeah. If you're doing single chests though, it can be worked in okay, I guess. All right, so we got that and now... I want to work on kind of close. I well, actually let's see. I wanted to put leaves over it, but it looks pretty good as it is right now. 
actually when you're looking at it from this way it kind of does look a little derpy so let's see do i have shears on me no let's see i just want shears so i can grab the leaves if i misplace them but yeah let's see we need to put something over this definitely let's try I kind of built this in creative mode before, and the look I came with was just a full roof of leaves. But now that I'm looking at it here, this might, this actually, hmm. I don't know, it's kind of a hard decision. Let's get some dirt. Oh, there's a torch. Actually, wait. Can I put the leaves on the, oh, look at that placement. That is pretty awesome. That torch helped me out. You know, that doesn't look too bad. But we haven't seen what it would look like if we covered it with leaves. And that doesn't look bad. That looks kind of cool. But we definitely need to do that. Maybe we should actually just fill all this in with leaves. Or maybe, actually, here, I need to grab some. I think hiding some light in there would be very good. And also, I think it would be good, I definitely will do this off screen, but... Um, for these leaves, they're really kind of see-through, so I think I need to do a double layer on a lot of them. Yeah, we definitely need a double layer. Um, so tell you what, I'll be right back and I'm going to collect a lot more leaves, definitely going to need to make some more shears, and I'll like double or triple layer this baby and put some light in and we'll see what happens. So be right back. Okay, so we are back. I've placed a lot more leaves up above here and hid some glowstone in it, so uh, let's take a look how it, or let's take, <laughs> let's see how it looks from uh, down here. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little throat's a little raspy. Yeah. Oh, we need probably need another layer there. Um, but yeah, I really like the way this looks when it's when the leaves are more dense and when they have some light hidden in them. I also kind of put these here to just add a little more randomness to it, make it seem like just these leaves are a bush kind of growing down. I thought we should maybe add a little more kind of foresty look by adding some vines in. We're definitely going to have to control them though, because they tend to grow out of hand. That's probably not smart to put it on the chest like that also, but we'll see. We can always take them out if we don't like them. Okay, just let these grow. So yeah, anyway, I think... This is pretty much done, though. Oh, uh, well, the building aspect of it is done, but we still need to figure out what we're going to put in the chests. I'll probably do that off camera also. And what is this? Is this a brick? Why is my shovel there? No, this is just, it kind of looked like stone bricks, but yeah, we need dirt there. Dirt here also. It's kind of funny when you're working with chests how you can just see the little tiny bits of the block there, but it really can uh, make a huge difference what those blocks are. Um, and this needs to be a leaf. Or does it? Actually, no. What I think, because we're going to have more beyond this point also, so... This needs to be sandstone. We're going to have a kind of arch. And I think later on, I'm not going to do it this episode, but we're going to put like a piston door or something here. Except that needs to be three by three. So we'd have to do like that. Yeah, I think that's doable. We'll have a piston door and then we'll put some more stuff back here. Maybe some animal farms or something. Not George Orwell's book, but <laughs> oh, that's that's a terrible reference. Um, okay, yeah, I should probably 
not have sandstone there either. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Anyway, though, we need to designate what we're going to put in each chest. So I think the first layer, we should have a cobble chest, dirt, gravel, wood, kind of our au naturel chest, plants, like building blocks, the chest for things like chests and furnaces, like a building blocks chest, nether. All right, so what else do we need? We should have like a weapons chest right here because these uh, six chests are going to need to be like our most, <clears throat> excuse me, our most important chests. So do I have any weapons lying around? Oh, here we go. Bane of Arthropods 4. What a beast. So let's do like a weapons chest and then a food chest and like an ores chest. So I just grabbed that. So, f so food, or wait, no. So weapons, food, and what was this one? Crap. Oh my god, what was this? Food, weapons, and... Oh right, ores. Yeah. And that'll be like diamonds and gold, and we need to put some string. Oh, I... That wasn't even planned. Wait, so it needs to be... Yeah, it needs to be right there. That'll stop that... Oh, are you... Does that have to be placed on a block? Hold on. What if I do this? There we go, that did it. Although admittedly that might actually get in my way. Eh, I'll live with that. So, okay, so ores. Do we have a wood chest? Yes, we do. All right, so I think I'm gonna have a chest completely designated for like redstone stuff. Like levers, buttons, and actually no. I think we have some extra chests that we don't need, so let's do, oh wait, there's there's a block out of place here. There is a block. Oh wait, there's just no block there. Oh wait, no, not a lever. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, wait, so let's put our levers and maybe we'll put like mine carts and rails in there also. And then we'll have like a chest completely devoted for like redstone since admittedly mojang did give us um redstone blocks but they're kind of inconvenient because you have to break them down let's grab that also we're gonna need to store that uh yeah so we're gonna have our redstone in this chest and I'll break down these blocks later. Because it's just easier to have the dust around. Although admittedly, probably will. I'll, I'll probably keep like one stack of blocks and then just have the rest of this chest filled with the dust as I get it. So that levers and then potions. And then we have three chests here. I'll have to figure out what I want. I'm sure there's there's something I can put in them. I just don't know what exactly yet. Maybe we'll put like materials like sugarcane in there. And what else? Maybe we'll have like a miscellaneous chest. Um Maybe we'll do it at books, enchanted books chest, because I plan on getting a lot of those. And this could all be subject to change also, so wait. We have stuff in these, okay. So we'll do like farming stuff there, and other materials. Uh, miscellaneous, and enchanted books. Okay, so I think we got that pretty well organized. Hope that wasn't too painful to watch, but... You know, I think, I think this will work pretty well. I'm already excited for this. And the thing about a storage room, too, is you don't always need to have item frames or, like, signs because 
like after like a week or two weeks or so of using your storage room, you'll basically know what's in all your chests that by that time anyway. So that kind of stuff gets pretty redundant. But yeah, anyway, I think we've been recording for a little bit. But one other thing, there is like a little indentation here. And I decided I wanted to make it a pond. So I like just filled it all in with water source block and knocked out the layer below it. But what I wanted to do is kind of just fill all this in with cobble and put some glowstone in because like I see people's videos and this is usually a really good look like submerged cobblestone because when cobblestone's submerged it doesn't look as bad or doesn't like stick out as much I don't think. And actually I could probably use stone bricks also. Oh god. Um, yeah, but, like, submerged glowstone looks really cool. Like, whenever... It's just, it goes really well with water. Like, Nebris's kind of basement on Mindcrack is a great example of this. So let's put it... Eh, hmm. Might replace this with stone bricks. It looks kind of cool. I think it would look better with stone bricks, though. But yeah. Anyway, I'll probably just do this off screen, though. And I'll show it to you next time. But yeah. I think we're going to call this an episode for here. Or for here. Actually, now that does look pretty nice, actually. Probably look better at nighttime. And if I added, like, a couple more blocks to it. But yeah, anyway. This is the episode. Hope you enjoyed. I think next time we are going to work over in this area some more. We need to work on our pumpkin farms and kind of plan out how we're going to like make all our farms. Or Because what I want to, my eventual goal is to have a bunch of farms and have them all kind of go into one, all like all the things go into one chest via hoppers. So... Yeah, we need to figure that out, but that'll be next time. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please leave a comment if you did. I love reading them, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.